Hey guys, welcome to the 90 second C sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the list view control a little bit more. So, in the previous tutorials, I told you to make it so that users cannot select more than one item in the list view. Well, we're going to be working with multiple items selected in the list view today. So, just go down to uh, go over to the properties menu for your list view and scroll down until you see multi select and make sure that's on true now. And we're also going to change the text in the context menu because it says get name of item. We actually want to get the name of multiple items. So we're just going to put um, a parenthesis with an S inside of it so that uh, symbolizes that there could be more than one uh, item selected. So now we debug here just to make sure that we can select multiple items. Let's just test it. I'll add a few items here. So now when we hold down control, we should be able to select this item as well. Or if we hold down shift, it should work. Yep. Okay, so now let's just edit the what the co what code executes um, when you double click on this in the context menu. So currently we just get the first item that is selected. And you can tell because this is a zero. And this basically means the index of the selected items. And this works fine for when you only have um, one item selected because we'll just get the first item in the collection. Well, if you have two or three items selected, then this will just go for the first item you selected. So let's go ahead right here and see what happens, since you can select multiple items. So now if we select both of these, we're only going to get DFG. Yeah, and not another one, because we only tell us to get the first item selected. If we wanted to get the second item selected, we just put a 1 there. Got another one. So now we should get, um, yeah, ASDF because that was the second item we selected. If we wanted to loop through or get all of the items that we have selected, we can use a for each statement. So we're going to do for each, and then I'll just create a new list view item, call it LVI, in um, all the items that the user has selected in the list view. So we're going to use the selected items property. So now it'll loop through every item that the user has selected in the list view. And we're just going to have a message box to display the full name of that item. So we're going to do lvi.subitems. And since we're going to get the full name, we're just going to put zero in here because this one's zero, this one's one, and this one's two. So we're just going to put zero. And then we're going to use the text property to get the text of it. So now we have multiple. Um, or so now when we have multiple items selected, we should get uh, two message boxes if we select two. So we should get one for FASDF and one for ASDF. Yep, and yeah, two message boxes. If we add another one, I'll rename this to something else like Adam. So now if we have all of these selected, we should get one for each. Yep. If we wanted to get the age, we would just put a 1 in here. We should get the age of the uh, all the selected items. I'll just put an actual number in here this time. Now let's just select all three of them right here. We get 12, we should get 15, and 73. Yep. And you can do the same thing with the email. Let's put a 2 here. And you get the email address of the persons or of the people selected. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on dealing with um, multiple selected items. So see you guys.